The animal world is cruel. Animals don't just maul each other, they swallow each other alive. And they do it in a particularly brutal manner. From snakes eating crocodiles and hyenas alive, to a hornbill eating an extremely dangerous reptile. In this episode, I'll show you these and other incredible moments of animals being eaten whole. Let's go! Rat and Monitor Lizard Let's start with a simple one. In this footage, taken in some barn, we see a monitor lizard, a rather large creature, attacking a rat. With a huge lunge, it grabs right into the carcass of the poor rodent and leaves it no chance. At first, the rat was still alive, but the more the lizard swallowed it, the less strength it had left. Most likely, it was already breathless in the stomach of the predator. Monitor Lizard and Monkey Let's increase the size. The protagonist here is again a monitor lizard, but it's no longer that medium-sized lizard, but the largest lizard on the planet. The Komodo dragon is incredibly large. It grows to more than 10 feet in length and can weigh more than 286 pounds. In Indonesia, its habitat, the Komodo dragon is a top predator, so it eats whatever it wants. Monkeys are no exception. In this footage, we see the giant hunting a primate. First, the Komodo dragon grabs hold of the monkey and begins to hold it on the ground so that it gets exhausted. We can see that the lizard performs a kind of strangulation technique. When the monkey loses consciousness and completely shuts down, the lizard takes over the meal. As you can see, the monkey gets into such a giant without much trouble, soon only the primate's tail is sticking out of the Komodo dragon's mouth, and in a few seconds, it disappears from view. Python versus Alligator Pythons are no less dangerous reptiles than monitor lizards. They have incredible strength, which makes them crush any opponent like a tin can. This python was caught by a crocodile. According to the author of the video, the reptiles put up a long fight near the water. They fought for several hours, but the python won. It subdued the crocodile by wrapping itself tightly around it, and when the crocodile was exhausted, the python began to swallow the still-alive reptile. Python's mouth is open so wide that it looks as if the crocodile is eating it, not vice versa. In general, this happens quite often. For example, not so long ago, scientists filmed a Burmese python eating a crocodile alive. It's amazing how wide the mouth of the snake can stretch. The crocodile was inside the python as a whole. Now the snake can forget about food for a long time. The crocodile will be digested for at least a month. Python and Rooster Pythons prefer simple dishes, too. The protagonist of the following story, a farmer from Thailand, heard strange noises from the hen house and went to check on his birds. He kept eight fighting cocks and was very fond of them. When the farmer came to the hen house, he heard he had already lost one rooster. It had been swallowed by a 13-foot python. However, the feathered creature was no match for the snake. Python began to spit it out, and soon it spit it out completely. Apparently, the bird died of asphyxiation and fractures, after all. It doesn't move on the video. But why are pythons able to devour a crocodile but not roosters? According to scientists, fighting cocks are not the easiest and most nutritious prey for pythons because they have very powerful legs, a muscular body, strong bones, and a sharp beak. Pigeon and Pelican Let's get away from snakes and reptiles in general. In this footage, the protagonists are a pelican and a pigeon. Most people think that the pelican feeds exclusively on fish. This is generally true, but sometimes these birds don't mind snacking on something else. This pelican caught one of the pigeons on a walk that didn't even think it would be attacked. <laughs> Fortunately, the pigeon was unlucky. You can see it was desperately fighting for its life in the giant bird's mouth, but the pelican kept chewing on the pigeon to the bitter end. Pelican finally chewed up its victim and swallowed it whole. And in this footage, we see a shark confrontation, or rather the culmination of it. The video was filmed in the Seoul Aquarium, which is home to the sand tiger shark. Usually, these predators get along with each other in captivity, but this one, for some reason, decided to eat its congener. An eight-year-old female sand tiger shark, which was about 7.2 feet long, swallowed a five-year-old 3.2 feet male. Dinner took it a lot of time, 
Almost a day after the attack, only the tail of the victim stuck out from the mouth of the predator. By the way, sharks are not able to digest it, so they regurgitate the rigid tail fin after eating their congeners. The alligator is a victim. Let's travel from Korea to Florida. It was there about a year ago that a wildlife photographer named Shelley captured an incredible picture. An adult great blue heron ate a young alligator whole. Yes, the reptile's quite tiny, but either way, eating a whole alligator's brave. Shelley says it took the bird about half an hour to swallow its prey whole, but it managed to do it and remained unharmed. It turns out herons are not so simple and harmless. As you can see, not only snakes eat crocodiles and alligators. Speaking of snakes, they take a beating themselves, too. A couple of years ago, a southern ground hornbill was filmed in South Africa hunting a puff adder, one of the most dangerous snakes in Africa. A family of hornbills paces in the tall grass looking for prey. One of them manages to capture the puff adder, a venomous snake that's active at night and slow-moving during daylight hours. The hornbill takes advantage of this, catches the snake by surprise, and grabs it with its beak. It carries it in its beak for a while and then swallows the writhing snake whole. That was epic. But still, much more epic is the footage in which it's the snakes that are killing their prey. Here's another such video taken in Kenya. The protagonist is a 13.1-foot python. A tourist filmed the python eating an entire hyena alive right in front of its eyes. To me, it looks even cooler than a python devouring a large crocodile. The reptile was able to immobilize the predator and then began to slide its giant mouth open over it. Scientists noted that the python's hunt on the hyena is something new and unique because they'd not seen anything like that before. Well, congratulations to the reptile itself. After such a heavy dinner, it can forget about food for several months and engage only in digestion. If a snake can eat a hyena or a crocodile, surely it can eat a human too, right? Have you ever wondered what would happen if a giant snake attacked and ate a person? Is that even possible? Is it possible? And if so, what would happen? Let's find out. To begin with, a snake can indeed swallow a man. Indeed, if large predators are not a problem for a snake, then a person is even less of a problem. It happens rarely, but it happens nevertheless. For example, a few years ago, a python swallowed a man in India who fell asleep in the street after getting drunk. And in 2018, a python attacked an Indonesian woman in a corn plantation and ate her. But what happens to humans in such cases anyway? Let's take the notorious anaconda, one of the largest snakes on the planet, as an example. Anaconda can grow up to 16.4 to 19.6 feet in length and can weigh from 66 to 440 pounds and more. The giant anaconda is not a venomous snake, so before it eats its prey, it strangles it by applying pressure to its muscles and bones. The pressure of a giant anaconda is so intense that the person will most likely already be dead when the anaconda begins to eat them. If, miraculously, the person manages to survive and be swallowed alive, they'll die inside the anaconda from lack of air, tightness, and the powerful pressure on its belly. So let's imagine that the man lies prostrating and the anaconda begins to eat them. It opens its mouth wide, as pythons do when eating crocodiles and hyenas, and begins to swallow the person. This snake has no sharp fangs, but its mouth is full of saliva, so the process will literally go on oiled wheels. The human will slide farther and farther along the anaconda's body before it's completely inside. It may take the reptile several hours to do this. Then the process of digestion will begin, at which point the person will be dead. Nature has provided the anaconda with gastric juice with a very high level of acidity, so the anaconda can even digest bones. If a person is equipped with protective gear and allows themselves to be eaten by an anaconda, the juices will dissolve all the gear and protection. Such an experiment, by the way, was conducted, but without success. So we realized that inside the anaconda, the human being would already be broken, pressed, and dead. In addition, they would be gurgling in acid stomach juice. But what happens next? Then the snake will digest the person for several weeks before they leave the cloaca in the form of waste products. But such a scenario is almost impossible. 
First of all, it's unlikely that an anaconda would eat a human because of their large size. The snake would prefer something smaller, like a capybara, a bird, or a turtle. Second, even if it happens, other people are likely to find an anaconda with a human inside faster than they're fully digested. Still, snakes are capable of many things, so you should be careful where they live, and you certainly shouldn't go to sleep drunk outside where huge pythons are crawling. <laughs> That's all, guys. Would you like to see an anaconda in person? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.